You can also go into the rec room. Uh, you turn to the right after you go in, and there's the pantry where you can find uh, Matthew's Jello. He usually likes orange Jello. I sent him purple bread Jello to school in the morning. And there are cereal boxes up here if we're running out of cereal. And so those are the things that you would would need if you if you needed to come here for something. Uh, cereal and Jello would be in this pantry. pantry to the left of left when you enter the rec room and next to it are uh, paper bowls and paper cups um, paper towels are up on top and if you end up needing um, plastic silverware there's knives forks and spoons and if the toilet paper runs out in the bathroom uh, normally the Toilet paper will be up above there once we uh, buy some. And he does really like uh, sandwich bags for his cereal, so make sure you use those bags in the kitchen. The bathroom has now been cleaned and organized for you. I've got the uh, plate to hold the um, facial brush. And I've got five towels, one for every day you're coming. And um, remember the medication for the morning for the face of these two. And uh, there's the facial brush, the soap for washing glasses, and the acne wash for washing Matthew's face. So we're all set here. Here we are in Matthew's room. If by chance we've made a mistake in not giving you all the supplies you need, then in this top right bin are white hand towels you can use to wash Matthew's face in the morning. And here's where we keep underwear on this side and socks on this side. I will be filling that drawer. Um, Here's where his uh, jeans are, right here, and I'm sure we won't have super hot days, but that's where his shorts are, the second drawer. And in his closet, I usually have him wearing um, long sleeve t-shirts uh, it, when it's cool, and when it's warm, um, polo shirts or short sleeve shirts they need to be men's medium and so that's all his clothes and I do like him to wear a bandana scarf <clears throat> uh, that that looks okay with his shirt because Matthew um, has the sensitivity to uh, vomiting and so if he coughs really hard, he could throw up, and, but he's not sick. For just for some reason, he does that, but it's, it's pretty rare. But I just want everything to be perfect. And if in the morning he says he wants a bowl, that means he wants to throw up so that he can avoid going to school. He's not sick. You can give him a bowl, but you can just say, you're okay, Matthew, you're fine. Just take some deep breaths. You're fine. You're okay. Let me show you where the bowls are. <clears throat> right here. You know, metal or plastic. Well, metal's always best. But remember, if he says that he needs a bowl or that he needs to, he's acting like he throws a month's throw up, uh, it's very unlikely he'll do that to you. Um, but he's not sick. He's just trying to avoid school. And the teacher knows that about that, and she wants him sent to school. But we're pretty sure we've taught him that uh, that's not a method we do use to get out of school. And so, as long as he looks fine, I'm sure he's fine. Send him to school. That's why he has a light breakfast and doesn't drink a lot, because I want his stomach to not feel very full, so that he can't have that queasy feeling uh, that he apparently gets when he wants to avoid school, but he's not sick. 
on one of the days that you'll be coming, Kirsten will go to work with Dad. And so before you leave, you must have a key to lock up. And if you could please put Lily in the rec room before you leave. Um, Steve should have set it up for the dog before before you get there uh, to the house. Uh, but if you could double check that the doggy door is open, you can see the doggy door covers off. The laundry room door needs to be closed and Lily's water dish needs to be there. And then you put Lily in here with a treat and then you close the sliding door like that, but then you tug on the door because if it's, if it's not engaged, it'll open up and Lily will open the door. Now, to talk about some potential problems, uh, if Matthew should be very aggressive, you can use a boat cushion to sling over your shoulder to keep handy, to protect yourself or block, or a back of this couch, this couch cushion or the other couch, couch in the other room. Um, whatever you do, don't let him play, make, create movies with the video editor on YouTube because that frustrates him. And he can, uh, um, you can block him for whatever he might be doing with a pillow to protect yourself. You can give him, um, you can give him, um, a half a lorazepam if it's anything severe. It's with the other medications. It's also called Ativan. Um, and uh, you can have him go to his room for for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, half an hour, depending on severity, and have him take a break in his room to calm down. Hey, Anthony, I wanna make sure I'm not confusing you. So I put a little note here on the stove hood for March 13th to 16th. It's a half a Bilify and a half a Risperidol in the morning. And after school, it's a half a Risperidol. March 20th, then he's fully on his new medicine and the old medicine is gone. So March 20th starts half Risperidol in the morning, half Risperidol after school, after he gets home. And Risperidol is a bit big, so we want to give cut that half into quarters so it's easy for him to swallow. So hopefully this note will make it crystal clear because I know when it comes to medication, you want to be perfect. I know you do. Thank you for everything. To the right of the sink is a bin labeled dog treats. So that's what you use a couple, one or two dog treats to lure Lily into the rec room for that one day that Kirsten goes to work with Dad. Also, don't forget that Matthew might enjoy having his glasses cleaned when he gets home, the same way you did in the morning. And to make it comfortable to put his glasses on, you just, of course, uh, want to loosen this, put them on, and then tighten them back up. Not really, really tight, just, you know, kind of loose-ish.